Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video and yes, this angle is so different from what I always do Plus I am not wearing any makeup. It is a Friday night I just came back home from university and this week was just so stressed and next week I have finals and I couldn't do anything that I wanted to do for finals this week so it's a little bit stressed but tonight I am just really tired and I want to do like relaxing things so that I can prepare myself for the next couple of days when I'm gonna study. I just want to sort of like invite you to chill down with me as well. I don't know if you're watching this in the evening or in the morning or in the afternoon, whatever. I just want you guys to take your time and relax a bit with me while I'm gonna unbox the January fairy loot box, which has the theme talk fairy to me, which I think is just really funny. I do have an idea of what book is gonna be in here, um, but I will save my speculations right before I'm gonna open the book. I am very excited to see all of the items that are in this box. Last month's box was my least favorite fairy loot that I've ever received. It was just like, okay, but it could have been so much better. So I just really hope that January's box will be a, a better improvement on like what they did last month. I don't know, I, I just was okay with it, but I pay like 40 euros for this box, so I don't wanna be okay with the box. I wanna be like really stoked about it. In January's box, there will be a cushion, pillow thing if you kind of know what I mean I'm just I'm just gonna open the box and uh, you guys will see what it is also let me know in the comments down below what do you think of this angle because this is you see like my other bookshelf right now instead of the big one that stands right there let's open it and that's it <laughs> that's the box so I will leave links to all of the shops that make the products in the description bar down below because I always forget to tell it with the descriptions on the spoiler card I'm not gonna look what's on there but I always love the artwork I love the artists that they've picked for the past couple of months I'm so happy I see a candle I think they include a candle almost every single month and I'm very happy about that because I love scented candles Ooh, okay, I don't know who this is. It's probably a character from the book, Prince Carden, a fairy loot exclusive. And this is supposed to smell like clove, oak, wood, moss, leather, black pepper, and pine. So sounds very interesting. I really like the packaging and it's a candle from Meraki Candles, which I've seen on Instagram a lot. So um, this totally smells like men's deodorant combined with the woods and a little bit of freshness. <laughs> So it's kind of like manly freshness, I'd say. I mean, if I had a boyfriend and he would smell like this, I would be happy. Next up, the cushion pillow thing, or I don't know what it is. Um, Here it goes. Oh, I already saw some other things in it as well. Oh, it's a Sarah G. Mass quote. So this is how it looks. I hope that you guys can sort of tell. Only you can decide what breaks you by Sarah J. Mass. I'm pretty sure that it's like a Court of Mist and Fury, a Court of Thorns and Roses quote because of the mountains, which are on here as well. But I love this design. It's dark blue, which is one of my favorite colors, and I can bring this to my dorm with me. So this is a definite win for me. Okay, I'm gonna grab the item that I saw in here, and this is a Rice and Resand and Feyre magnetic bookmark pair. That is incredible. Um, I've only read the first two books in the A Court of Thorns and Roses trilogy. I still need to read the third one, even though it was my most anticipated read of 2017. Um, but these bookmarks are so cute. I mean, look at them. Um, they come in a pair, they're magnetic, and that is just so cute. When I'm gonna um, continue with my reread from A Court of Mist and Fury, I'm definitely gonna use these, um, but but I'll probably use Resand, Rysand. <sighs> Still don't know how to pronounce his name. I think that in the books it says Rhysand, but everyone calls him Rysand, and I kind of also want to call him Rysand, but then the perfectionist in me says, you have to say the name how it's supposed to be and how it's described in the book, but I mean, look at that. What is this? Is this a coloring book? <gasps> it is, that is so cool. So Fairyland, mythical beasts to color. And look at that, I, okay. I already have to say that Fairy Loot, this box, is so much better than the December one, in my opinion. I have been meaning to get, like, a coloring book. Oh man, that is a lot of details to color in. A minotaur, and there's also a little explanation of what you are coloring. So, the detail on these drawings is kind of intimidating as well. 
but it's very, very pretty. And it's also cool because then you can learn about mythical creatures and I don't know all of them. I found these two prints or they're actually four, um, which I think is really cool, but I think these are from the A Court of Thorns and Roses trilogy. Um, so I'm gonna look up which characters these are because I don't think they're Feyre and Rhysian. Oh, <laughs> nope, they are from A Throne of Glass. So Rowan and Elin, and I know who Elin is, um, so I'm not going to spoil that for other people, but I've only read up until Crown of Midnight in the Throne of Glass series, and I need to continue on with it, and all the signs in the universe have been telling me to do so, so I should. <laughs> and then on the back, which I think, I'm, I mean, they're both super, super gorgeous, are two other quotes. So this is, we all tell the truth as we see it, do we not a quote by Cass Cassandra Clare and I love the lettering on this one it's so pretty and then the flowers great one and then do not lose your heart to a fairy prince it never ends well by Julie Kagawa this like these prints are very pretty um and then right now I think the only item that's left is no there's another item okay Ooh, this is a lip balm and I love me some lip balms especially one, um, my favorite lip balm is one that was featured in the July Fairy Loot Box. So I hope that this will sort of have like the same formula. Um, ooh, it's from Geeky Clean. So it is because in the July box, it was also from Geeky Clean. And I also had the same struggles with opening the freaking packaging. Yes, after like three minutes, I finally opened it and it's called Unseelie. I'm guessing this is something from the book that will be featured in it and it's honey flavor vegan lip balm, honey. Okay, let's smell this bad boy. <laughs> I am so excited to use this right now. But I already applied lip balm before this video. It smells so delicious and I cannot wait to apply it. So I already know how the formula is from um, Geeky Clean and it's amazing. It moisturizes your lips so very well. I have a little bit on my finger. I don't really taste the honey yet, but I mean, you're not really supposed to eat lip balm. Okay, so I've removed everything from the box, and right now I'm gonna tell you guys about what I think the book is gonna be. I think it's gonna be The Cruel Prince by Holly Bourne because it's like a fairy, fairy tale kind of thing. <gasps> yeah! Oh my god, you guys, look! I was fucking right, and it's gorgeous. I've heard amazing things about this book, and I'm happy that I, like, got this thing again. Let's see if it looks okay. So it's very plain on <laughs> their dust jacket, which I always think is a shame. When a book has like a special like cover underneath the dust jacket, it always makes me super happy. Let's read the inside. Of course I want to be like them. They're beautiful as blades forced in some fine divine fire. They will live forever and Cardin is even more beautiful than the rest. I hate him more than all the others. I hate him so much that sometimes when I look at him, I can hardly breathe. One terrible morning, Jude and her sister see their parents murdered in front of them. The fearsome assassin abducts all three girls and brings them to the world of fairy, where Jude is installed into the royal court. Mocked and tormented from being merely mortal, Jude soon realizes that to survive in this treacherous, dangerous new world, she needs to be as smart, cunning, and insightful as the Fae themselves. But the stairway to power is fraught with shadows and betrayal, and looming over all in the infuriating, arrogant, and charismatic Prince Cardin, Jude must take the utmost care. Ooh. Okay, so this sounds very interesting. Um, because of the great reviews, I cannot wait to pick this up. I hope that I will do that in 2018. I've also never read a Holly Black book. I've been meaning to do that. I've been interested in reading one of her books for a long, long time since I've been here on booktube. And you also get a note from the author, plus a little like sneak peek at uh, next month's theme, which is Twisted Tales, and a little like interview with the author and um, some book recommendations for if you really like this theme as well. So you also get the autograph of the author, which is a really big one this time. Um, plus, let's see, oh, you even have like a little extra print in there. And I think this one will be from Prince, what's his name again, which I also got the candle from, Prince Cardin. I am guessing that that is him on this little print right here. Yeah, Fairy Loot has definitely sort of like redeemed itself with this month's box. I was really like, 
Like, I was okay with last month's box, but this one is definitely a whole lot better. Let me know in the comments down below if you also have a Fairy Loot uh, subscription and what did you think of this box. I think it's really, really awesome. If you guys also want to follow me on all of my different social media pages, I definitely have a Goodreads, Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address, and links to all of them will be in the description bar down below. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!